Hey guys, welcome back into more RDR2. I'm just on an adventure to do a couple of things. I realize whose mission has popped back up. Oh, we can go see Charlotte again. But um, that's not my goal right now. I'm gonna run back to the lab. Then I might go see Charlotte. And then I just might start making my way around the map the way I've been planning to for a while now. Let's see if we can actually go through the front door. If we're locked out, because there's not a... There's a weapon we can pick up inside. Oh, I can go. Arthur, I can't... S Where's your creation now? Uh... Ooh. The robot killed him? Oh, sorry, I don't mean to step on your body. There's no bloody footprints to follow. Is there anything around? Is this a note? Read, please. Invisible waves, ghost waves, mystery waves, magic waves, waves you cannot see. Okay. Uh, that's... Looking for anything else. I don't think the robot would have left a note saying where it went, but... Still worth looking. Uh, at least the professor had a cigarette card. Can't look at his books. Uh, just take one of them, Arthur. The note or the Valerian root. Five years, I autumn uh, received funding, win top scientist prize. Make oh, okay. He okay. He's got his fifteen-year plan. Automation army take. I was so ready to just glance over that. Because I was like, hey, he wrote down his goals. That what That's what they tell you to do when you want to achieve your goals. You write them down. And then I saw the last bit. Respect, professor. I mean, it didn't go well for you, but also respect. Okay, we got a silver pocket watch. Uh, I don't need that. I was so ready to just glance over that. Okay. I assume that you can find the robot, but the question is, do you really want to? I mean, it killed its sort of dad. Plus, there's no, there's no footprints. Wait a minute. No, these are just horse prints. There's not really anything leading- oh, Hammer, 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 honey. Oh, oh, you cannot go between the building and that- Okay. There's just an invisible wall in some places. Yeah, there's no tracks. Okay, the professor's dead. Um... I guess I'll just keep going on my journey and then make my way back to Charlotte at some point. Oh wait, is that a full road? Ooh, wait, no. I want to do that. Um, yeah, I don't know what I expected, but it wouldn't be that. Like I said, I assume you can find the robot, because why else show you the robot and give it its own little thing and not have you be able to find it? But I don't know if Arthur wants to find it, because who knows if the robot is susceptible to bullets and still angry. Alright, I'm just gonna keep going on my adventure. I'll make my way back to Charlotte at one point or another. Ooh, are these my geysers? It's about time! Okay. 
I need to change where my marker is then. Um... Treasure map, and I'm in legendary territory. Yep. Legendary territory for what, though? I could pull off the map and check. Let me see. Let's check this really quick, and then I'll go for my treasure. I need are. to find that map again and see if it's in a geyser, if this it's near a geyser. Hammer, can I can I have my shotgun? Cause I'm not gonna get got by wolves. I am not gonna get got by wolves. Oh, there we go. Oh, I already had it equipped. Uh not gonna get got by wolves. All right. We'll do this and then I will try to figure out where that treasure is. I think it said that it was in a geyser, but I could be wrong. I haven't looked at that treasure map in forever. Ain't close. Hammer, you just stay where you are, girl. I don't want you getting mixed up in the wolves. In my little wolf hunt here. Yeah, when I saw these entrails when we were passing them, I was wondering if they were a clue, but we didn't pick up on anything. Alright, wolfie, wolfie, wolfie. Is that my wolf? It is my wolf. Can you get closer? Okay. I'm a little uncomfortable by the fact that there's not more wolves, like there's not a wolf pack. Maybe you were just cool and you liked being on your own. The lone wolf, if you will. All right, unfortunately doing this is gonna take me off my path. But so far I haven't really found all too much of what I'm looking for. Uh, hammer? Actually, you know what, let me come to you because that geyser over there, I don't think it's gone off yet. So maybe that's what I'm looking for. Okay, stow. Uh, where is... Not the horse cargo. Sorry, girl. Let's see. Ingredients, materials, kits, valuables, documents. I want... Cigarettes, maps. Maps. Right. Um, maybe not. Piece together map, legendary sketch map. Okay. Ah, it's treasure maps. Uh, do, do, is Jack Hill gang? Okay. Um. All right. So there are four geysers. One, two, three. So should be something right over here then. Maybe. Easy. Because I'm right in line where where it's telling me to be. Past the trees. Okay, let me ride around for a second because something's not right. Maybe there's more geysers than what I'm seeing, these three. Or 
maybe I was just at the wrong angle. Maybe it's... Oh, dang it. Are you guys leaving? Ooh, okay, this looks promising. Okay, I need to be in line with that. Alright. It's gonna be one of these rock formations. You're alright, girl. Let me just get my treasure and we can go. Wolvesies, go away. I can hear you barking. Please back over here. Please be it. Okay, new map. New map to... I honestly think I know where that is. Maybe. It looks really familiar to something I've seen before. I think it's not you. I think it might be this one. This is a lake, it has a little island on it. And then there's also... Unless this is the lake that I'm thinking about. The little lake where I got the hatchet instructions really early on. There's also something right there. Okay, I'm just gonna put this here for now. Wait, no, 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 I can, I can mark this. I will mark this. Oh, wait, no. Back over. Back over, back down. Yeah, that's fine for now. That's fine for now. The wolf is done. Gotta check out this area some more, and then probably... I might rest and fast travel into Strawberry, go see the trapper, and then start moving through here. And once I end up back at this place I already am, then I'll move on to probably Valentine. I don't really have that much of an interest in going in this direction, even though I probably will have to. I just do not care for the snowy mountains that much. Come here, girl. Okay, my girl. Okay, I have made a full trek from where I was with the geysers through Strawberry to here. And I'm gonna check out the stranger mission. I got lucky and I picked up a couple of dinosaur bones along these ridges. There were a lot more along these rivers than I thought there were. But I'm still way off. I don't know about the bones. Found only one rock carving, and I think I recorded that. Hmm. But I did find some more dream catchers. I still haven't met the person who's going to ask me about the dream catchers yet. Because I assume there's a person, because there's a person for every other collectible. Okay. Hi, puppy. Are you following me? Good puppy. Oh, I- oh, please tell me this is the twins again. I really wanted to be the twins again. I thought they were hilarious. What the heck? Welcome to Smithfield. Smithfield. Oh, Smithfield. Smithfield. Oh, Smithfield. Here is a silly boy. The Protus isn't a boy at all, but a it is them. that a man shaves a face into every day. Now, that's very useful if he needs to climb a tree, but a good conversationalist it does not make. Are they outside? Sickly, child. Sickly Thanks, and Barnum. weird. I have no idea why he followed me out the way. <laughs> you can't Found punch, them. my sweet. It's sad, really. Oh, 
my, our friend. Hello. I bet you can punch. Do me and the lady a favor here, would you? And thrash this impudent wretch. Thrash? <laughs> no man alive can thrash me. What was your name, sir? Arthur. Arthur could. Easily. You, maybe, but not me. I know. Punch us both as hard as you can. You'll break <laughs> his glass jaw, and I'll be left standing. The knight and the knave. Good idea. Hit me, then. Dear boy, oh. give the feeble fellow a little tap and watch him crumble. Uh. You two are ridiculous. I love it. Okay. Which one's which? All right, that's enough for one day. <laughs> you really walloped him. Your turn. Right. Yikes. Mm. I'm fine. <laughs> Come up. Ooh, look there. I got a proper chin. Not Good. like that toe rag. Good lord above. Doesn't hurt. <sighs> hey, hey, hit, hit me, me again. again. Right here. Right here. You too. Oh. Weren't you taught never to hit girls? Punch a man for once. <laughs> Give me your worst. <laughs> I think he's done for. Barely even felt it. How long are you two gonna let this go on? There's only one thing for it, then. Hit me in the manhood. <laughs> Don't worry, sir. Mine are made of steel. Real steel, huh? All right. <laughs> They've come out his ears. <laughs> My turn. Okay. Enough, gentlemen. Yes, oh, I think so. Oh, I slipped, and I hope you killed the leprechaun. And he's still alive? <laughs> Shoot him, please, one of you. There, there, up you get. We need to get some steak on those wounds. Madam, gentlemen, good luck to you. Whatever got into your heads? <laughs> I love them. They're so ridiculous. I'm fine. Really. It's that wretch who needs the rest. I've never been better. True. I could ride to strawberry in the state I'm in. Both of you are going to bed. And that's the end of it. A bath. Maybe that's what I need. Would you bathe me, sweet Helen? Can you hear that wretch? <laughs> that lascivious monster? If you're bathing anyone, you're bathing <laughs> me. And you can be assured of my chivalry, Elder. Hello. I kind of want to follow them. <laughs> oh my god, they are ridiculous. Hammer, honey, you can't come into the hotel. Hello, welcome. Okay, now lie down and rest. <laughs> Don't mind us, sir, watching the desk. Nothing nefarious going on here. Yes. Rest. Much better. <laughs> Can I see through the window? <laughs> Okay, there's no more conversation going on. Gotta remember to come back and see those three more often. Alright, I've got some mail to send off because I did pick up three or four bones. I think it's actually well, I three. You. Lost a bit of weight there, looks like. Hey! Me. If I wanted a doctor, I'd have gone across the street. Of course, I didn't mean anything by him. So how can I help you today? Can you get my horse off the porch? <laughs> oh, poor girl's tired of sleeping outside. She said, get me a bed, please. Okay, I want... You again! Oh, wait. That was not a dime's turn that I was trying to make. Okay. I want the newspaper, because I've been meaning to read it. Hey, sell me the newspaper, you brat. Move next time. Yes. Take a good one there. Next time. Okay. 
Get your I'm gonna gear, just go past this really quick. Uh, Denise Roberts still on the run. Cornwall Army contract. 19-year-old Lenny right. Summers and Hosea Matthews, believed to be approximately 55, were reported both killed, but the bodies were never found in the cleanup, which took a number of days. Mr. Here. Matthews was a wanted was wanted in at least six dead. different Fear states. A further uh, further gang member was arrested and awaits trial. The rest of the game escaped and remain at large. Excuse me, Excuse me but I need some money. I Aww. fought the war. I fought for you. Uh, beloved leader cut down of the governor of the Isle of Guarma. Beloved leader. Is it raining on me right now? Probably. Manland, several men uh, were involved in the assassination. Okay, a beloved leader. Stagecoach missing. Five passengers missing. Oh, is this the Murphy thing? Da yeah, daughter Meredith. Um, yeah. Including and a five-year-old boy. Ooh, indeed, her daughter was dead. It's a terrible blow for Mrs. Buckley. Saw treatment from a doctor for hysteria and is holding a uh, court in her parlor under sedation from the pharmacist tonic. She's fine though, right? Yeah. Cornwall Army contract. Ooh, that's concerning. Uh, habit at the mine, workers call for higher pay. Warnings of Roanoke Ridge, makes sense. Don't go near the Murphys. Sad story of Otis Miller Jr. Son of famous outlaw finally set free. Otis Miller. Killed, robbed, okay. Six years old at the time his outlaw father was killed by a fellow outlaw. Huh. Is this something I should be concerned about? My cow strayed? Uh, one black cow with horns tag on the ear. Other two tan and white spots. All three are very good milkers and ran off during an electrical storm. Information as to the whereabouts will be graciously received and generous and thoughtful reward. Can I go find this man's missing cows? Come on. I swear I've seen cows roaming about on their own though. Maybe they had people with them. But it was back towards- it was way earlier on in the game, so I do not think it applies to this situation. But way back when Swanson uh, was getting cheated out of poker because of how high he was. He might have been drunk, too, but... Massive explosives, uh, robbery at the Cornwall facility... Famed gunslinger battle, Callaway dead... Okay. Oh, it is raining. Okay, girl. Sorry to have you standing out here in the rain, girl. I'm gonna go take care of my mail situation. I also think I have mail to read. I have mail and I have to send mail off. You have unopened mail or parcels. I know, that's why I'm here. Well, hello again. Oh, I dear. want to receive Have my you mail. Down with the flu as well, sir? Flu? No. What are you talking about? Nothing. It's just been going around. That's all. Anyway, how can I help you? Could you guys stop commenting on the fact that I'm sick? That would be great. Ooh, the mayor's office. Hold up. I want to inspect Thanks. my document. Ooh, from the office of Jean-Marc Mercer, mayor of Saint Denis. Dear Mr. Kilgore, these are troubling times in City Hall with the resignation of Mayor... I don't even know how to pronounce his name, honestly. But civic business continues. The new mayor has asked that you be formally commended for your recent services to the city of St. Denis. Please accept this token of gratitude um, of the citizenry along with the personal message from the mayor. This scandal will pass and we will be stronger than ever. Yours respectfully, the office of the mayor of St. Denis. Respect! Jean-Marc went Something for that promotion. 
Okay, I want my mail. All right, weird skip in the video, but we do, we're taking care of that. What else did I want to do out this way? Oh, it keeps going to the marker. That's a little bit annoying. I might run all the way down this area, then back up towards Emerald Ranch. I think I've managed to rob most places around this area. Okay, I found something over there, so I robbed that. That's where the stable is, so I've definitely been here. Uh, pig farm. Oh, wait a minute, this is slightly misted out. I have not been here, interesting. What else is slightly misted out? Not that much, actually. Hmm. Actually, okay. I definitely want to end up here at some point, because I am gonna, over time, make my way back up, because I need to do this collection mission. So what I might do really quickly, actually, you know what, I'll do a straight shot. I don't need to rush my little exploration of the map. Because I should have a bit more to go before I really have to worry about the end of the game. Hopefully, at least. But I feel like we'll be fine for a little bit. So I am probably just going to make a straight shot to this new area. I might stop in Emerald Ranch since I bypass it and just see if anything new is happening there. And I'm pretty confident at this point that none of my collectibles are in the swamps. And I think I've cleared this area out well enough. Actually, I don't know about that because I haven't found any collectibles in this area. Alright, but I'm going to stick to my guns on this. I'll go check out this little unmisted area. I'll ride through here to get to the collection mission. Who are you? Oh! I thought we told them to get out of town. Okay, I've got a couple of things to do, so let me just go ahead and get onto it and check out these few uncovered areas. Uh, keep my eyes out for anything along the road that I haven't picked up yet. And go ahead and make my way back to Charlotte, Edith, do the collection mission for Strauss, and then I'll go see Sadie, and hopefully she's ready to go get John. Because I feel bad about leaving my boy in prison, so I'm gonna go get my little brother. Alright, I decided to let Arthur rest up a little bit because it was just like a constant storm and I felt bad for him. Where am I, by the way? Oh, where was I trying to go again? Over here. I'm almost confident that I'm going to find all of these, all the dream catchers, before anything else. Simply because they're the easiest thing to find. Yep. And not to mention, when you see them in the eagle eye, they're just massive in the map, so they're so easy to see. Alright, but I am closer to my new location. What in the world? Help me! Someone help me! Please! Help oh. me! Oh! I swear if you try to steal anything, you're gonna regret it. I just want you to know. Is that the snake bite feather? Again? You won't believe it. Oh! I got bitten again! Dude. It's real deep! Suck it out of me, please. How You're about I give you this? Lucky I have this. <laughs> oh, 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 can't believe I don't carry this with me. Yeah. Oh, I owe you so much, Mister. Uh huh. Can't believe you saved my life twice. Me neither. <laughs> well, I best be getting back to town. Gonna need a, uh, uh, 
stiff one tonight. Seems like it. And please start carrying health care you with you. Getting another out. <laughs> you know what they say, if you get bit by a snake once, shame on the snake. If you get bit twice, shame on you. Why are you messing around where snakes are if you've already been bitten before? Or at least that's what I'm gonna say. Um, just double checking. Okay, I cannot be far from this location that I wanted to check out. I'm not, it's right there. Have I not been here before? I don't like friendly strangers. Aren't you gonna ask me why I'm on your property? Don't be shy, partner. No such thing as a stranger here. <laughs> Hi. Partner. Yeah, you look like you need to take a load off. Well, ain't this a rare treat? Why didn't you tell me we had guests coming? I'd have fixed myself up nice. Oh, now, you know you look perfect, princess. <laughs> uh, I ain't no guest, miss. I'm just passing through. Oh, nonsense. Well, come on in. Rest a while. Now, we got food on the stove and a bottle of the good stuff we've been saving. It's decided, then. I'm gonna go freshen up. <sighs> I appreciate the offer, but I, I best be on my way. Oh, come on, now. How you gonna turn down a hot meal and good company? Cause you're creeping me out. I'll go open that bottle. <laughs> I'm so curious, but I know this is bad. Oh man, should I should I do a quick save? Should I do a little quick save? Cause I'm so curious, but this is a bad idea. They are way too freaking friendly. But like, I'm too curious to not. Okay, uh, we'll put it somewhere over here. Uh, da da da, yes. Okay, just do the thing. Okay. Oh, Lord. You got your guns ready, Arthur. <laughs> hey, there he is! Come on in, come on! I'm not I'm not sure how I feel about this photo you I got. Hope she ain't primping for hours up there. We'll never eat. Go check on her, will you? Me. Well, sure. Hey, get to know the place. Make yourself at home. Well, just go hurry her up a little. She won't listen to me. Is she upstairs? There's a marker for upstairs. Go on, partner. She won't mind. Are you trying to set me up? Head around the door, or we won't be eating till Christmas. I need to take a closer look at this place. Some may right here. I don't want to like obviously start looking in all of their cabinets. Cause I don't want them mad at me just yet. <gasps> well, look who it is. You are hungry, ain't you? <laughs> Not for that, ma'am. I just, I just want food. Didn't mean to intrude, miss. <laughs> it's all right. Looking ain't a crime. You go on and have a seat at the table. I'll be down in a minute. I'm looking at that might be a crime. Okay, I'm just gonna go. Disturbing Arthur's peace. Can I look around your house more? Be down in just a minute. Woohoo! That is what I like to hear. Hey, now pull up a chair, partner. That's it. Yes, yeah, settle in. Make yourself at home. Oh, hey! Hey! Ain't this just about perfect? God. One of them moments you wish could last forever. Well, like I said, uh, I can't stay for long. Then look at us, like a couple of old friends. <laughs> oh, 
It's a short life, but a merry one. Here we are, all the fixings. I hope you boys left some room in your trousers. Mmm, that smells delicious. <laughs> the food don't smell too bad, neither. Oh, stop <laughs> it, you! How do you like it? Mmm, it's good. Different. Mmm, mm-hmm. That meat is so tender. Mm, you know what? This place used to be a pig farm when we was when we was kids. Yeah. Before we lost our ma and pa. Horrible business. Horrible. Oh! We still got each other, ain't that right, honey pie? And we still know how to have a hog killing time. There. There, that's for you. Yeah. There. Yeah. Mm. Mm. Arthur, I think mm. it's time for us to go. Mm. We have intruded. Where are my manners? <laughs> Drinks. Yeah, I could definitely use a drink. Uh, Arthur. Mm. Uh uh. She didn't pour. Arthur. She didn't pour herself a glass, <gasps> Arthur. That stuff will put hair on your chest. Oh, I doubt he needs that. Arthur, Let's you trust in fool. Up some more. Arthur, Come Arthur, on, we honey. we gotta go. I appreciate the hospitality, folks, but I best be on my way. No, already? I thought we was gonna have some fun together. Ah. Oh. I'm sure you two <laughs> can have more than enough fun without me. Oh. Well, we still can enjoy ourselves, princess. I kind of want to rope them and search the house. Who's going to tell me I can't? What in the hell? Oh, come here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Arthur. 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 You do. You do. Arthur. <sighs> okay. I maybe I can hog tie him, but I can't hog tie her. Stop it! I ain't a damn hog. Oh, dang it! You know what? That's what you get for being too big to hog tie. Now I'm just curious. Oh, I'm the animal? I'm the one being insulted? You're gonna pay, you bastard! Oh my god. I can't let this house go to waste. That's the problem! You don't gotta say it out loud! Wait a minute, wash what? Wash stand, oh. I'm gonna bleed you dry! You know what? You get out of those binds and you can come try. I'm gonna search the rest of your house. Uh, is that what happened to their mom and pa? What are you going to do to me? Because, uh, why else keep the bones if it's not your family? I mean, you wouldn't keep some random person's bones. At least I wouldn't. Then again, there's a lot of stuff going on here that I just can't relate to, so... Uh... Alright. I'm gonna check this one last room, lady, and then I'm gonna check your pockets, and I will be out of your way.
Okay, nothing too weird in the dressers. You really don't have anything here worth taking at all. Got anything in your pockets? Just isn't your day, is it? Ooh, took her necklace and the bracelet. Chocolate bar. Okay, um, ma'am, I think I've satisfied my curiosity with the situation. I'm just gonna go now. Actually, do you have anything in your chimney? Probably not, because the fire's on. There's a side room. I was wondering why there was, like, extra space in the house that I couldn't get to. It's because there's a side room. Okay, uh, we're done here. That was disgusting and creepy. I'll come back for you. I promise. Ah, <laughs> uh, that sounded too funny, Arthur. The sarcasm in his voice. Yeah, I didn't trust it. They were way too happy to see us, stranger. I also was just trusting in the fact that this was a pig farm. Because if you're gonna kill people and you need to get rid of the bodies, having pigs is kind of a solid idea because a pig will eat anything. Okay, I think I'm good now. I'm struggling with whether or not I should just go kill her too. Because they definitely killed their parents, right? There's no way around that. Oh. I take this. Oh, it's a snake. Okay. Couldn't figure out what that was. It's a little snaky. Now it's no longer a snaky. Now it's a dead snaky. Ooh, copperhead. Gross. Okay. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna go. Um, that was quite something, Rockstar. Um, they were definitely gonna kill Arthur, right? There's no way around that. They were too happy to see us, too ready to feed us and give us alcohol. They were weird, no matter which way you looked at it. So yeah, I'm just gonna go now. <laughs> oh man. Alright, that was an experience. Where do I need to go now? Okay, I was going to run up... Ooh. Have not uncovered this area, and there's two points here that I don't have, that might be homesteads that I do not think I've seen before. I'm gonna run over here, then head over to Strauss, or his debt mission, make my way to, ooh, I'll do these, yeah. 
I'll do Charlotte and Edith and then go see Sadie. Let's get a move on. I really want to get away from this place. Alright, I'm coming up on what looks like to... Oh, Railroad! How did I miss this too? I'm gonna check this out really quick. Ooh. Don't mind me, just looking around. I thought I'd been through this area. How did I miss this? Not the best of days. What's up? Hey there. How's it going there? Not good. Look at this useless bunch. Moving at a snail's pace. I don't see you doing any work. Junior foreman. You're not even the foreman. Y'all got any cigarette cards hanging around? I don't want to actually steal your stuff. I just want your cigarette cards. Okay. And nothing's popping up on the map for like a random encounter. But cool. Completely missed this on the map. I didn't even see this little camp situation. All right. Back on oh that storm went by quick. Okay. Feels like Florida weather all over again. But um I'm gonna go check on these two little buildings. Hopefully it's not another incest couple, you know? I would prefer there be only one of those in my cowboy game. I'd prefer there be none, but you know. Gotta throw some curveballs in there. Ooh. Oh wait. The building- oh, because I put my marker in between these buildings. Oh, I wanna go up here. Okay, oh, well that's ginseng. I wanna see what's up here. Really? No cigarette cards up here? Nice view, though! Oh, really nice view. I love it. It's so pretty. Okay. There's one other building, and it's on the other side of my marker because I put the marker in between the buildings I wanted to check out. Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, Arthur. Hey there. Yep. Let's go check this out. It should. I think I'm looking at it. State your side, oh. sir. North or south? <laughs> what? Well, I sure ain't from the south. Lucky for you. <laughs> Captain Hayden Russell. 29th Amberino Volunteer Infantry. Do you bring news from General Skullick? Who's the General Skullick? I'm awaiting orders. We will move on Lemoyne soon and take Saint Denis from the rebels. You do know what year it is, right? What kind of question's that? 1862, April 14th. Now move mm. along, civilian, and watch yourself. Johnny Reb's in the area. Uh, mm, okay. Anything else, Captain Russell? Oh. I like your stand. Okay, am I just supposed to leave him here? Don't want to make him mad. Okay, I'm gonna leave Captain Russell to it. 
and go take care of this John Weathers situation. Oh, I didn't know there was a trapper right here. Huh. Because I haven't been right through this area. I also, I think there's a legendary fish in here that I haven't tried to get yet. Need to ride past there. Because I think I need to take a look at the two legendary maps because there definitely are more legendary animals that I'm missing and a couple of legendary fish. But I believe I know where most of them are and I think one is in that pool and then... I think there's another one near Van Horn if I'm remembering correctly. Excuse me, sir. I loop around. Would hate to throw me and my horse off this very yeah. narrow little path here. Yeah. Okay, coming up on my collection mission. Took some time, rode a bit slowly, and I didn't find anything interesting. Looking for J. John Weathers. Mr. Weathers, you owe me money. Wait, no? Is that different? Wait, then what's that random thing up there? Come on. There was something else on the map. Oh, hi. J. John Weathers. They call me Snow Goose now. Whatever they call you. You borrowed money off of Leopold Strauss. The bills come due. This ain't the best time, sir. This ain't the best time for anyone. Mr. Strauss knew it was a long-term proposition. The debt is due. Okay. I got supplies meant to last through the winter. You can take them. Just, is there any way you can help me? I stay out here. There won't be anyone to pay you. I ain't here to help. I'm here to collect. We're all, all of us up against it. Look, there's men after me. They're killers. Me too. I mean a deserter, just an objector. It ain't right. If there was another way than running, I need your help. Shut up. Please. I... Up here, it's him. It's too late. Four off, we shoot on sight. I clear off, sir. Ah, shit. Well, seeing as I'm here, I'm, I'll <laughs> do what I can for you. Ah, lucky, sir. Oh, there you are. Oh! How dare you? Come on, there we go. probably still save something. Really now? Look, you can take the silver locket for the debt. Uh absolve it. Damn the debt. Just get her somewhere safe. Go on. Thank you, fella. You know there ain't enough kindness in this world, that's for sure. But you I don't know nothing. If Strauss has a problem with it, I'll just give him some of my cash. Okay. Edith. What was I gonna say? How was I gonna say her name? Edith. That was not what it was about to come out of my mouth. <laughs> Edith Downs, and then I'll go see Charlotte, and then I'll make my way to Sadie. Um. Oh yeah, sweet. There's another collection mission. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. There was something else on the map. My bad. Hold up. There was... I knew I saw something separate. 
There's this. I want to go see what this is. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean for you to run over the dead guy. Yeah, that's my girl. <laughs> okay, let's see. Stranger. Hey! You Hi! Can you help? You okay? Can you help me, mister? What's the yeah. problem? The goddamn horse got spooked and run off. Are you hurt? Not too bad, at least. But he took my damn leg. Oh. Sorry. He went that way, I think. His name's Buell. Buell? <laughs> Second time a prick named Buell cost me a leg. Huh? <laughs> Buell was my general when I lost it. Oh, uh, okay. Anyway, if you see an angry bastard of a horse with my wooden leg, I'd be real grateful. Okay. I'll bear that in mind. I'll go get Buell. <laughs> you name your horse after your general that you hated? Hammer, let's go find Buell. I was gonna say, looking down at the leg, I really hope you mean he took your, like, wooden leg with you? Your prosthetic? Ah, uh, okay. I see a horse. Easy. I see him. Excuse me, horsey, do you happen to be Buell? There he is. Come here. Easy does it, eh? You better calm hey. you down. Oh, it is the wooden leg. It's all right. Can I patch ya? Oh my god, you're so shiny. Arthur, do you want to pat the horsey? Arthur? There we go. Sorry. That was my bad, apparently. Go easy, boy. Easy there. Easy. Oh, bright blue eyes. Good boy. All right, come on, pretty. A Dutch warm blood. Well, Very on, pretty. Man. Let's get you back. Can I just ride you back? It's less work. Apparently not. Hey, Easy. calm it's down. Okay. <laughs> okay, I cannot attempt to ride Buell, so. Yeah. He's just where you left him. <laughs> Can't go far with that leg in your stirrup. Can't go bucking him like that. You better be good, you hear? I get the notion he's not a man you want to cross. No matter how big and strong you are. Arthur reprimanding the horse like it's a child. I love it. I'm gonna get you back to... Did we get his name? I'm gonna get you back to your owner. Man, this is such a pretty horse. It almost looks pink. Maybe that's just the way the light's hitting it. Alright, Hammer, you can follow too, girl. While I get this horse back to our new friend. We ain't far now. None gonna spook you here. <laughs> Come on. You're not so nasty. I love that Arthur talks to animals. Sir, I have found, I found you. <sighs> you're a good man, mister. Mr. Arthur. You're right. He's a brute. <laughs> hey, Miss Sinclair. Yeah, he's oh, a Hamish. great horse, aside from when the devil got him. Hey, you wanna hand me that leg there, please? And while you're at it, give old Buell a kick for me, would you? <laughs> I'm only kidding. <laughs> Thank you. <sighs> Warren, but a snake that spooked him. 
<laughs> You're a real gentleman, you know? Sometimes, maybe. Yeah, how'd you lose a leg? Oh, in the war. Cannonball. Pretty clean, though. I don't have much pain, and I didn't get any gangrene. A young boy went into battle with me, got cut in half, so all things considered, I'm doing pretty well, I guess. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> so, uh, how is the false one? It's okay. I can still hunt, fish. Enjoy the outside. Weren't sent too crazy by it. Anyway, I ain't got much to pay you with. That's okay. You know, that's okay. You like fishing? You can come with me someday. I know some pretty good spots. Uh, I'm a pretty poor fisherman. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, I'm great. So between the two of us, we do okay. My cabin is right over on the other side of O'Cray's run there. Thanks again. Yeah, you throw me again, you old dumb bastard. I'm gonna put a bullet in you. I'll see you again. Oh, bye. Okay, the veteran. Ooh, he has little initials. We can see him again. All right, Hamish. I look forward to seeing ya. Oh, Veteran's Homestead. Have I robbed this place before? It was before he lived there, and that's all that matters. Oh, wait. My treasure might be here. You know what? I'm not gonna get distracted. I'm gonna go do what I've been meaning to do. I'm gonna go take care of this stuff. I actually might rest and fast travel. Let's do that. I had to think about it really quick. Rest, fast travel to Van Horn. Go take care of the Lone Shark mission first. Then I'll go say Edith. And then Charlotte. I said Van Horn and I sent myself to Van Horn. Knowing good and well that I needed to go to Annisburg. But it was a short ride up anyway. I'm gonna go check on the loan shark thing first, like I said I would, and then I'll go see the ladies. Okay, I'm looking for an Arthur. Is Arthur in the mines? Arthur might be in the mines. Are you Arthur? You got any business at the mine? Looking for Arthur. I'm looking for an Arthur Londonderry. I was told he works here. Londonderry? Oh, you'll want to speak to the foreman. He's down in the pit. Okay. Question the foreman down in the pit. I really hope this is the pit. I know I'm a handsome man, but you didn't have to follow us all day. I'm not following you, dude. Just trying to find the foreman. This is not the same cave I was in before. Oh, there's definitely stuff down here. Is this where I wanted to go? Proceed with caution. Um, I need to go down. Okay, Foreman's over here. Sir? Arthur London there. She here? I'm sorry, feller, but you're too late. Arthur's dead. <laughs> oh, the man's why are you dead. Giggling? What's wrong with you? Oh boy, you can't exactly beat it out of him now, can you? <laughs> you might get something off his widow just across from Butcher's Creek, but I'd hurry. You ain't gonna be the only one a knocking. <laughs> ah, you so he owed people money. Hey, I ain't the godforsaken money lender. Okay, I mean, if you hate loan sharks, I guess in some ways it is kind of funny. Because now they can't get their money back. Can I just hop up here? Yes! Go, Arthur! I will push you over so damn quick. So if there are guards in these ones, can I just come back through here to look? Or will they get mad at me? I'm going to test that theory soon enough. 
because I'm sure that there are cigarette cards in here somewhere. I just gotta find them. Okay, across from Butcher's Creek. That's the little town I wanted to check out before. But I'm closer to Mrs. Downs. So I'll go see her. Considering how um, the new collection spot is on the way back to Sadie, I probably do that in between Charlotte and Sadie. Okay, Mrs. Downs. I gave your son some money so that you guys would get out of town. Why are you still here? Like talking to a goddamn wall. Morning, mister. Hello. Oh. Get out of my way. Hey, watch yourself. Mr. Morgan. You still here, kid? Yes. Mama. Mama can't leave. Or won't leave. I, I don't know. I said I had the money. It, she said your money weren't moral. She said it'd be better to die than to take it. <laughs> Maybe she's right. I don't know. I don't know anything about morals. She's still heading out. Working, you know? I'm sorry, son. Sorry about all of this. She ain't been back for a few hours. She left with some fella down the railway tracks. I did not like the look of him. Which way, you say? Uh, that way. Around the woods, towards, uh, Willard's Rest. I'll be back. I'll see what I can do. Hey, oh, here, I know I killed your husband, but money's money. Just take it and go. Let's go see what this is about, and hopefully she will just leave town, and then Arthur can feel better. Well, not feel better physically, that's not gonna be easy, but... Okay, then. Oh, search for trail at bridge. I found it. At least I hope this is it. Yeah, physically Arthur might not feel better, but maybe emotionally he might feel better. Who knows? see a horse. That's enough now, partner. Oh. You're starting to scare me, let alone the poor woman. Clear off. <laughs> who are you? Someone who don't want to hear no more of your nasty mouth. Push me. I'll put a bullet in you. I, I presume yep. Archie sent you? I said clear off before I deal with you. I'll see you again, dearie. Mm. Shoot him anyway. No one's going to miss him. Listen. Listen to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Excuse me. You sound like my husband. <laughs> I know. Listen, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what happened. I was uh, a fool. And I'm suffering for my foolishness. But don't go and get yourself killed because of your pride. You have a son. Mrs. Downs. I'm just so ashamed. Ask. Ashamed? <laughs> of what? <laughs> you loved him. <laughs> you did everything for him. <laughs> Let's get you home. Come on, Miss Downs. Let's go. Right. 
Take you back to your son. You can have more money if you need it. I like this track that's playing. I'm sorry it had to come to this. Stop saying sorry. Sorry won't bring Thomas back. I know. <laughs> so you're sick now too? And you think that affords you the opportunity for penance for cutting his time short? No. I ain't looking for that. Okay then. So just forget about me and the guilt you're carrying because no good can come of that for either of us. And all you can do now is decide the man you want to be for the time you have left. Help someone who can still be helped. Why help yourself? I suppose you're right. Oh, hang yourself for all I care. <laughs> you're right to dislike me. I ain't looking for that to change. Yeah. Hmm. I do hope she ends up taking the money, though. She can hate us all she wants, but at least her son will be happy. Archie should be waiting for us just up ahead. someplace else start over here take this I don't need it no more I don't want your money yeah I know you don't want it I don't you sure as shit need it take it no I ain't looking for forgiveness it ain't about that but don't forgive me just take the money and get out of here please I know I ruined your life I suffer for it every day but don't let yourself get killed for, for pride I seen it kill too many folk don't say anything. Don't thank me. Just take the money and pack your bags. That's all I gotta say. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. I said don't thank me. Get out of here. Please. I know I'm selfishly thinking about Arthur's needs and desires, but like, he's my main character. And I think he needed that, probably. Okay, good old Charlotte. That's one stranger or acquaintance that I I hope we'll see them again, but also kind of hope they clear off. Have a better life. What's the matter with you? You're walking in the middle of the road. That's what's the matter with me. And I have TB. Okay. Oh, God. <sighs> of course. You know what? Bad kitty. Oh, my God. Strong kitty. Bad kitty. <sighs> I need the meat. Just wanted to go see Charlotte. And of course she has to live out in cougar country. Now I have to go see her covered in blood. I'm not gonna keep the pelt, but I do want the meat. Hammer. You know what, I'm gonna let Arthur take a quick bath in the river. That way I don't completely terrorize Charlotte.
fall off into the deep end. It's gotta be here somewhere. There you go. Ah, uh, did that get the blood off your face? I think so. I hate how sunken in his face is. But it's a great touch. Yep. Really makes you feel bad every time you look at it, which I assume was the purpose of doing it. Ah, oh, Charlotte. How's my new friend doing? My, my. I was wondering when I was gonna see you again. You look different. Well, the rigors of simplicity take their toll on a woman. Oh no, I didn't mean no, it. Like... I know. Things are going well. I couldn't have done it without you. Oh. You did it all yourself. <coughs> so how are you holding up? Ah, I'm still standing. Which is an improvement on the last time you saw me. I wish mm. that there was something else that I could do. Ma'am. You have done more than enough. Please, call me Charlotte. Arthur. Arthur Morgan. Well, you take care of yourself, Arthur. Have we not traded names until this point? Oh, is that my last Charlotte mission? Well, please, go on in and help yourself to anything you need. What's mine is yours. Oh, well, that's very kind. I like Charlotte. Charlotte? It was a pleasure meeting you. You too, Arthur. Please be well. Okay. I really don't need anything, but thank you for offering. Unless you got a cure to TB in there. After oh, did not mean to do that. Okay. I need to get to this widow. And then... <laughs> Please tell me this is... Okay, yeah, she's waiting just outside. Of the prison. Okay. We do this and then we go get our little brother. Is that a cougar? I'm just gonna go. Now I do not want to get to get attacked by any more wildlife. I just want to do my job, collect some money maybe, probably end up absolving another debt if we can. Cause I think Arthur's done trying to get money out of people's widows. Okay. I think I've robbed this place too. Or I tried to. I don't want to go. It'll be an adventure. I don't want an adventure. I want my daddy. Be brave, sweet angel. Be brave. Fine. Hello, ma'am. <coughs> Mrs. London Derry. <coughs> Arthur's dead. I know. I'm sorry for it. It's just, we lent Arthur some money, you see, and... So it was you. You son of a bitch. What? What do you want now? You want my boy's shoes? You want the food out of our bellies, what little there is? You want me to lie down for you? No, no. I... Arthur gave everything to pay your bills. Everything. And now there's some fellas coming to take the house. There ain't nothing left, mister! Oh, absolve debt and give money. Uh, just I got it. wanted to say the debt canceled and to you know, take this. It won't bring your husband back, I know. You need money and I don't. Well, you're a good man. I just wish you'd done it before he worked himself into the grave. But 
But you know, maybe you and your friend that lent him the money could do things differently, like not threaten a man. Excuse me. I'm sorry, ma'am. I really am. Oh, now there's something with Strauss. Confront Strauss. Oh. Interesting. This is going to be a long episode, but I can't not do this. Sadie, I promise we will be getting John in the next day. This isn't going to take me, but like... A couple of hours of in-game time, a couple of minutes at most. I just want to see what Arthur has to say. Oh, I've been wanting to come back here. You know what? I'll investigate later. Right now, I am on a mission to talk to Strauss. Who is indirectly responsible for Arthur's current condition. Slowing Y'all down right here. Lost. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Really? Just enjoy a leisurely ride back home. Got a bunch of psychos. Check in on a couple of things. Because Strauss is in his normal place on the outside of camp. It's okay. Mr. Morgan. What's up? You don't look very well. I know, Swanson. Uh, I'm not, Reverend. Uh, I fear I'm pretty sick. I'm so sorry. You seem well, on the other hand. Yes, I'm, I've stopped all that silly business. I think I'm okay. Oh, well, that's wonderful news. <laughs> How? I don't know. I met a Catholic lady, a nun, and we prayed, and it was lifted. The curse was lifted. Good. I can't believe it. Really, I can't. All those years I wasted. I'm proud of you, Swanson. Hey, Michael. What the hell is going on? We're trying to make plans, Morgan. Keep your nose out, okay? <sighs> Excuse this you? This is crazy. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. Whatever, Black Lung. You are so lucky I can't have my guns in camp. I would pop you right in the back of the head. Can I not talk to Bill? Uncle? Karen sleeping? Mary Beth? Hey, Mary Beth. Hello, Arthur. How are you doing? This place, it's horrible. Have you seen inside that cave? Yeah, I, I was know. in there. It's only for now. Hang in there. Okay, Arthur. All right, never mind. Karen is not napping. Well, I guess she's taking a drunken nap, but...
Nap all the same. Hey, Strauss! Apparently we gotta talk. Hey. Ah, how did you get on, Mr. Morgan? Just Danny. Hmm. Just... Get up. What? Get up! What? What is wrong? Nothing's wrong. Nothing at all. What are you doing? Something I should have done a long time ago. Get your bag. Is this it? I don't understand. I ain't gonna kill you. Though I probably should. You disgust me. And you shame us. If we could be shamed any more than we already are, that should do. Go! I don't understand you. What are you doing? Go and get a job! You know, they, they say the sick delude themselves. I was your friend. You and me, we ain't decent. But those folk, they was. Now here, take that. Take that and get lost. I'm leaving. Dang, okay. Didn't expect him to be thrown out. Hi, Javier. Hi, Arthur. Tilly? You ain't gonna kick me out too, are you? Uh, Tilly. No. You we need. Anyway, I'll leave you to it. Don't know what to do with myself around here. Uh, Karen? Arthur Morgan. How are you doing? Drowning my sorrows. Just keep your fingers crossed. Sure, Arthur. <sighs> hey, Uncle. Mr. Morgan? You know, you might want to think about getting out of here soon. No, I'll be with you boys till the end. <laughs> Can we talk? I don't have much to say to you right now. Excuse you? Well, guess I'll leave you to it then. You just worry hey, about that big man. I'm worried. Really I'll beat you up too, Javier. <sighs> Me too, Uncle. What's going to happen, you know? To everybody. <sighs> I guess folks is going to make a choice. Whether they live or die. And you? I don't have that choice no more. I'm just... Trying to help others see clearly. That's my choice. You're a good man, Arthur Morgan. Oh. Loyal Dutch. And I shall go on being loyal. What are we doing here? We need to move and keep moving. We need... We need money! You dumb fool! Money! Or we are dead! We are all dead! I am doing the best I can. Fool. Y you sure about that? Don't you worry about him. Well, that's the problem. I am worried about him. Uh, we all are. Oh, there's well, Abigail. Try to keep your head straight. Yes, yes. Oh, hi, Tilly. Oh, no, hey. that's Tilly. Swanson. Spite of all this mess, Mr. Bell. I feel wonderful. Call me Micah. I won't, if you don't mind. <sighs> Why not? Might give people the wrong idea. And what would that be? That I like you. <laughs> no. Only thing you like is a bottle of whiskey. Everyone knows that, Miss Karen. They do. <laughs> oh, yes. Some folks is concerned. But not me. Your past worrying about nasty little thing. She gets what she deserves. Want me to beat him up, Karen? I couldn't agree with you more. 
like hell's gift to women. You got that right. Well, don't give up on everything just yet, Williamson. Why are you prowling around? Because I can. I live here. I don't know all this. Fantastic. Uh -huh. Whatever, Morgan. Whatever, Bill. Cop an attitude with me. You're the idiot who went asking everyone around town where we were and brought the Pinkertons to us. Oh, I can't just head back into this cave. Don't really want to, though. Might search. Might look in there at some point, though. Might be a cigarette card in there. Dutch go? He, did he go in the cave? Oh, he's right there. Okay. Dutch? Yes, Arthur? Folk are getting real jumpy. Well, tell them to trust me. I've tried that. Fine, whatever you say. Oh. What, Arthur? Susan? What? Someone What's up? Smash the box. A what box. box? The money box! We'd had that for so many years! Why did they smash it? Well, I don't know. Look at this place. All divided. Everyone anxious and at each other's throats. I'm heartbroken. Yeah, me too. <laughs> me too. Okay, I saw Jack come out from here. I wonder if Abigail's okay. in the tent. Yes, I'll leave you to it then. You okay, Jack? Is Mr. Strauss gone? Yeah. yeah. He had to leave. Sorry. Well, try to keep your head straight. Okay. All right, then. Let's see. Uh, heading out to Van Horn hey. would... Oh, hey. Okay. Don't let her hear you say that. Where's... Oh, my stuff's over there. Oh. Okay, uncle. You tell him. Just be careful with him. Yeah. He don't scare me. Yeah, but he'll stab you in the back. Okay. Guess I'll see you later then. All right. I was looking for Arthur's stuff. That way we could try to fast travel out of here. Oh, wait. I would need to go the other way. Okay, I'll go to Van Horn and ride down south to go see Sadie. Hopefully getting John back raises some people's spirits, but it also probably means we need to move again considering we're breaking John out of a prison. Can't believe we kicked Strauss out. I mean, he deserved it. Not sure how I feel about that because I personally feel like he deserved it but then there's also the factor of what Strauss did with his loan sharking probably kept the gang up for a number of years I actually don't know how long Strauss was with the gang but he was helping keep keep the gang up while he was there and I assume oh I have mail here I assume a lot of people didn't really have an issue with how he ran his business until stuff really started to go to hell Everyone just kind of ignored what welcome, he did. Welcome. I need my mail. Ooh, skull skit statue. You look like I feel. And how's that? By then, death. For in my case, like I. Well, how's that for a welcome? It's 
swear the next person that brings up my okay, sickness, I will shoot them. I swear I will. Is that all y'all gonna talk about? Reminds me back in the Skyrim days if you ever got vampirism. Even if you were wearing a mask and no one could see your face, all they would talk about is, Hey, are you sick? You're really pale. Do you get enough sunlight? Are you sleeping well? It's like I'm wearing a mask. How the hell would you know? But okay. Is this the... I actually think I was the road over. Yeah, I should have took the other road. Oh. No. Do this. There we go. Okay. I missed my turn. So yeah, Strauss definitely deserved it for taking advantage of people. But also, I can't really see the gang having much of a problem with the things he was doing until it started to affect them more. Or maybe until Arthur just grew a conscience because of everything that's happened. But oh well. We're not gonna think about it too much because Strauss is now gone. And I have John to save. With Sadie! Happy to get John back, but I'm also just happy to hang out with Sadie. I was gonna ride in cinematic, but it go a little slow and I wanna get to the point. Always snaky. This is kind of creepy. All right, Mrs. Adler, you ready for a jailbreak? The thing is, Sadie, I really can't. Oh, I this is what happened. Hus I Abigail, you're not. Insist all you like ain't happening. Arthur, tell her. Tell her what? She ain't coming with us to collect her husband. I... Abigail, you ain't coming. That's the end of the matter. <laughs> See, there you heard him. Now let's go. But but nothing. It'll be quicker and easier with just the two of us. Plus, John will be calmer without worrying about you. Ain't complicated. Well, well, I ain't the crying sort, but I'm real grateful. Yeah, we know <laughs> you are. We'll bring him back to you. Respect to her for wanting Thank to help. You. Thank you both. We got this, Abigail. Prisoners come back out to work the fields. The place is surrounded by marshland. Should hopefully give us a bit of cover to move in close enough to find our spot and look for John. Then all we gotta do is take out all the guards and row our way out of there. All of them? Seems simple enough. <sighs> How many times, Marshall? <laughs> <clears throat> okay, bring us over. <gasps> we good? Uh. Let's head for that watchtower. Okay. Sounds good. Stay low. Sadie is such a badass. Down. There's a guard up there. I'll deal with him. Okay, I'll follow you up. Okay. I already got one of those, don't I? Oh no, this is the bolt action rifle. I do need to switch. All right, there we go. Where's John? Stand up, please. Hey, I think I see him. There's a group 
In front of that barn, just to our right. Oh, yeah. I see two guards. Okay. Take them out, and let's go get our boy. Okay. Oh, okay, we're just going for it. Sounds good. What now? Wait, shit. I don't think that was John. Well, let's oh. go over there and see. Okay, come on. I think one of All those right. birds was still moving. Okay, that might not have been John. We're coming, Johnny boy. Help is on the way. Come on, Arthur. Let's keep moving. Where is he? You see him? No. You, <laughs> Mister. You know John Marsden? I, he ain't. He ain't working today. Put the gun down, lady. No. You put the gun down. Now. Where's John Marston? Uh, he ain't in the work detail today. Okay, well, I guess we'll go oh, and get him together. Uh, okay. Sorry, anything, I'll blow your damn head off. You clear on that? Yes. Very clear. Oh, no. Be careful. Don't. I got your boy. <laughs> Why I love you Sadie. apologize to the lady for pointing a gun at her? Excuse me? I said apologize. I'm sorry, ma'am. Ain't no harm done. So, are they escaping? Towards the entrance, I guess. And who's in charge of this fine establishment? Jameson, sir. Jameson, who? No, Mr. Jameson. Heston Jameson. Uh, be a nice fella? Uh, he's been quite an exacting boss at times. I look forward to meeting him. They're... they're not gonna let you do this. Well, that's gonna be up to you, my friend. <laughs> he had like four escapees. Can't blame him. Swim for your life, boys. So, you a popular employee, my friend? Not especially. Well, I guess we're about to find out. Sucks for you. Oh, why can't I turn Arthur when I'm leading? I just it just wants me to go straight. I can't control where he goes. We better hope someone in there actually gives a damn about this fool. Guess we'll see. We're gonna have to shoot our way out of here regardless. True. It's gonna be interesting. Boy, Get him, Sadie. Even more reason to be a top performer at work. That way, if you're ever held hostage, they hope you don't die. Please. Okay, friend. Be cool now. Just do as I say. Put the weapons down now. Jameson! Is Jameson in? He's in San Denis. They got Milliken. Got him and gonna kill him. Unless you bring me John Marston. Right now. You got one minute. I'm counting. One, two, three. Um, uh, Milliken, uh, is it? Yes, sir. Will you count for me? I got talking to do. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> of course, sir. <clears throat> From one or four? Oh, or very funny. Now, we must be at 11 by now. 11, 12, 13, well, faster. 14, 15, 16, 17. Now, hurry up! 18, well, this poor fool's gonna get his brain shot out. And over what? For nothing. Uh, Milliken, don't stop counting. I can't hear you. Hurry up and bring that asshole out here, you bastards. Come on! Don't cry, buddy. I don't want to die. Yeah, I know, I know. Hey. There's my boy. 
John, hello you too. Now no funny business. Well, Mr. Mannequin here will stop crying once and for all. Okay, today's your lucky day. Let's go! Run, Arthur! Okay, I, maybe we don't run right now. I was trying to! You guys hid! This Arthur. Here comes some more. Get down. Uh. Been a while, John. You <laughs> me. What took you so long? A lot. Was that you? Yeah. <laughs> Believe me, that was my one and only time flying. He did see us. Let's go. Look out on the left. Coming from the ball. Let's go. Oh, where you at? Where you at? Where you at? Oh, I actually think it's the bullets coming from behind. Oh, hello. Man, you are really working for that paycheck. TV running and firing difficult. What are you doing? Let's go. Go, 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 go. You always seem to need rescue, Marston. <laughs> nice to see you, Arthur. Uh, there's some fellas coming here. Don't look too friendly. We best get out of here. Come on, boys. Let's move. I'll row. You shoot. Seriously? Gotcha. Let me. You. You're a better shot. Right, fine. You just relax and enjoy yourself, John. Leave the real work to them as can still handle it. Thanks. No, oh, just a thank you. I'm not going around. At least he's grateful. I liked you better when you was all trussed up like a prize chicken. No doubt. Oh, hurry up. They're going to be on our tails soon enough if you boys keep wasting time. Oh, that's us told, Dan. 
Hey, Arthur. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Don't mention it. Let's go. We should get out of here quick before the law gets wind of this. So what the hell happened in San Denis? Is that all right? She's fine. Jack is too. She managed to escape when they got Hosea. Hosea? That still don't seem real somehow. All them years. Arthur. He was like... Like family. Yeah, uh, we lost young Lenny too. No. What a goddamn mess. And did we... What about... The, the money? Oh, nope. somewhere at the bottom of the ocean. What? How the hell did that happen? We hit on a boat. It's the only way out of there. The boat went down in a storm, and we ended up stranded on an island somewhere near Cuba. Cuba? Mm hmm Wait. You're gonna have to tell me all this again. It's a long story, but... Things ain't been good, John. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> We're holed up now in the mountains to the north, near Roanoke Ridge, and some caves there. The Pinkertons caught up with us again, and we had to move. Yeah. Seems Molly ratted us out, the bitch. So she's dead, too. Jesus. Maybe you should have just left me to hang. And... Uh, <laughs> I should warn you, Dutch didn't want us breaking you out. Said it wasn't the right time, so... Might not be the hero's welcome you're imagining. Mm. So much for no man left behind. I can't stop thinking about this. In the bank, when they grabbed me, he saw it. Felt almost like he had a, a moment to do something and didn't. The Dutch ain't himself right now. Or maybe he just ain't who we thought he was. Guess we don't need to worry about who's his favorite no more. <laughs> I think Michael yes, won that competition. Not. Yeah, I forgot that I blamed Bill for something that was technically Molly's fault. Interesting. Yeah, I don't know what to make of that. The Dutch let John get taken. told you we would. John! What are you doing here? Excuse Good you? Good to see you too, partner. I meant I hadn't sent for you yet. I went. But I said that. Yeah, I know what you said. I felt different. Is that so? Mm-hmm. Yes. And? When Spring and John brings the law down on all of us, what then, Arthur? Well, I guess we'll have another fight on our hands. Loyalty, Arthur, it ain't. I had a goddamn plan! John! John. You are my brother. You are my son. I was coming for you. That... They was talking to hanging me, Dutch. They was talking. They was talking. And now they may come and hang us all. Oh, sorry. I was miles away. Hey, thinking Mary Beth. of, uh, <laughs> I don't know. Dutch said to tell you he and Mike have gone to Annisburg. Something about Mr. Cornwall. Cornwall. Oh, okay. 
Thanks, Mary Beth. Uh, who's on the map, too? I got a mic mission. And then I have... Oh, Hamish! I want to go see Hamish. Okay. This has already become quite the long episode, so I am going to end off here. And when we come back, I'm going to check in on everyone at camp and probably read through Arthur's journal because a couple of things have happened and I got some new updates in the journal. Not sure how I feel about the fact that Dutch was going to let John rot in prison because I highly doubt, even though he says he had a plan, that he was going to go back for John. And it makes me wonder if Dutch has started to fall into Micah's ideal that the best type of gang or the best type of situation is going to be a small, tight-knit group of gunmen who aren't going to ask questions and just do what they are told. Or maybe there's more to it. But, um, yeah. Definitely feeling some type of way about the Dutch and Micah situation now. But we'll see. Maybe... Some of the tensions will be relieved at camp now, but I highly doubt it because we still have the Pinkerton situation and I don't like that we're going after Cornwall in his little mining town. Because something tells me all this talk about we need a plan, we need money. Oh, let me... Hi. Thank you. Thank you so much. Oh, he ain't done yet, Abigail. Dutch seems... To have lost his mind? I know. Just be careful. I don't have to be careful. I... I have you as a friend. Aww. Abigail's a real one. She's got no really fighting experience. Yes. And she was so ready to hop in that boat with Arthur and Sadie. Hold up. I know I keep saying I'm gonna quit, but How let me see. Time for Strauss to go? Sure, I won't miss him. <laughs> a few others should go too. Well, mm -hmm. try to keep your head straight. Okay, Arthur. Okay. With that settled, like I said, I don't like the Cornwall situation. <sighs> Something tells me the last str idea to how to get money is they're thinking, oh, who can we rob? Who do we know has a lot of money? And we won't feel bad about robbing them. Someone who already hates us. So that's going to be really concerning. But you know what? We gotta continue the story, but not before we go see Hamish. And hopefully this little island that I marked, because I'm pretty sure I've actually robbed this little place before, before Hamish was here. I hope that this is the other part of my treasure map. And if it's not, I'll have to check the other lakes for any of the, any lakes with islands. But I really think that's the only one. Have I not been out this way? Interesting. But yeah. Oh, wait. I see a couple. Oh, no, this one's frozen over. It can't be this one. Okay, I'm going to end off here. Like I keep saying, this is already a fairly long episode, but I do hope you guys enjoyed and I hope you join me again and I'll be seeing you very soon. Bye.